what was supposed to be in there, but I guess it couldn't be fit. But I guess we're going to get started. Uh, That's where Guilty Gear is. Stick around there. Okay, here we go. Started the first match. Jason Ryan, known to be a pretty aggressive AU or soul player, gets 2D knockdown. Gets the overhead. Gets the full conversion. Heyoon has a really huge hurt block, so it's really easy to make combos on her. I don't know what it was going for. Maybe like a tech trap or a burst bait. And now Heyoon's out of the corner, but Jason Ryan really keeping the pressure. Nice anti-air from, from Jason Riot. Was able to get the knockdown. Jason Riot is sold. Jason Riot getting the overhead. Gets the OTG. Maintains pressure, corner pressure. Grand Viper, interesting. Uh, RCs, probably to not get, uh, probably to bait the first. Uh, let's see, now. Ghost Tuna with the advantage. Now gets hit by, by, by the fireball. Solid round by Jason Riot. Both players still have their bursts. I'm sorry, the second round. Another low into Grand Viper. He gets hit by the overhead again. Goes to an off in the burst. 6P counter hit. Oh, that 6P is very, it's a very good frame trap for Soul. Uh, even if it trades with certain normals, Soul will recover fast enough. And six counter hit properties of 6P is very good. That's great knockback. Very large and technical time. And it looks like it's on oh, a command grab. Nice wild throw by Jason Ryan. This should be able to finish it out. Ghost Tuna shouldn't have his burst uh, gauge filled back. So, yep. And we got a trophy. Nice. Very nice. <coughs> so, they're just going to go right back into it. Hey. Another run up 2D. 2D is a very good poke by Soul. Oh, and. and <laughs> Goes to no fights back with his own 2D or or sweep. So so Soul's crouching dust 2D little sweep that he does is a very good very good normal. Comes out very fast. Low profiles. Basically his hurt box shrinks, so you can't really hit him with like certain standing normals. Very very oppressive normal. Oh and nice, nice. goes Tuna with the uh, offensive momentum and a sizable life lead. And that's the thing about Heian. If you get hit by Heian, she she does so much damage. Oh, and doesn't get the uh, the, the fa Jason Wright doesn't get a factor pick up, but gets to jump H into DP knockdown. Gets the overhead again. I'm not sure why Ghost Tuna isn't it's not blocking those overheads. Ghost Tuna was able to block that overhead. Nice. Jason Wright trying to maintain pressure. Ghost Tuna out of the corner. <laughs> nice DP. But was I? Uh, Ghost Tuna wasn't able to convert off that DP. Oh, Ghost Tuna wasn't able to fit, get the get the sweep out of the two piece. Oh, that I don't know if that was an overhead or not. Oh, and Jason Riot with a burst, nice not DP. I mean, nice burst by by Ghost Tuna. Jason Riot with the advantage. He should be if he wins this. Yep. Nice jump P conversion. Jump P are jump P from Soul are they're very 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 good normals. Can't really challenge them. They come up very quick. Has sizable hitboxes. Oh, counter hit Fafner. That's going to be huge for Jason Riot. Nice pickup. It's about 25%. It's really good on Heihun. Landing low. Mix up from Jason Riot. Gets the full pickup. Nice and simple. Gets the OTG for extra uh, damage. Jason Riot baiting the burst again, but good frame of mind from Ghost Tuna to not burst. Not giving Jason Riot any opportunity to bait the burst. 3 6 P. Oh my god, 3 6 P's from Jason Riot. Really wanted to fish for that counter hit. Goes in an opted for Hayabusa after the 2D, just push Jason right in the corner, but that's not working well for him. And this should, no, OTG. And this is looking very, yeah, this is a very convincing win from Jason Riot. So Jason Riot advances. <coughs> so solid stuff from, 